Hello, hello. Good morning. I'm Robert Kelly with Leatrio. Uh, we're a professional services firm. We focus on DevOps and cloud transformations. We partner with large enterprises uh, with cloud and uh, automation, all the cloud modernization, app modernization. Uh, lately, that's a lot of platform engineering, uh, all, really all things DevOps and uh, delivery, uh, delivery automation, really just modernizing the scope. We're here, uh, we could talk a, a little bit, but we thought it'd be a good opportunity to just uh, show some of the things we're working on. And uh, my friend Joe Knight here is gonna do a little bit of a live demo. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I think that's uh, really exciting. He's getting set up, so. Oh, there's a screen here. This is a little bit ad hoc, but. Uh, uh, so we're here uh, uh, sharing a little bit of what we're doing. Down the hall uh, on the left, we've got a room set up. Uh, so uh, we're sharing a little bit of uh, uh, some of the things that our engineers are working on. And uh, I think uh, really that's, that's what we do here. We don't, we don't have a product to sell, uh, but we are uh, you know, heavy uh, collaborators that the, the customers are working with. And uh, uh, we think that this is kind of a opportunity to kind of speak for the work we're doing. I think we're about ready to go. Yep. All right. So I wanted to show off some of the work that we've been doing, specifically around the time. Yes. This mic work? Yep. Better? Cool. So I wanted to talk about a little, a little bit about some of the work that we're doing, specifically around authentication and how we authenticate pipelines with cloud services. Uh, specifically in this case, we're using GitLab to authenticate with AWS through PingFed. Uh, does anybody use PingFed for an IDP? Yep. So we all need to authenticate our pipelines with cloud providers, right? It's super common. Uh, ever since there were cloud providers and since we've had pipelines, we've had this problem. Um, yeah, so for the longest time, uh, the way we did this was we stuck our, we created service accounts and we stuck the service accounts and credentials into pipeline environments. Who's ever done this? Yeah, I've definitely done this hundreds of times. Um, I'm here to tell you uh, this is bad and you should feel bad for doing this. Uh, <laughs> let's stop doing this effectively. Uh, there's a better way and that's really what I wanna show here today. Uh, I have a demo here. I'm gonna kick off this pipeline. By the way, this repo is open source. Uh, if you can't find it, come talk to me in our sponsor. I didn't expect, one sec. I did a whoopsie. Is that a force push? That's 100% a force push. Alrighty, so what's this pipeline do? This pipeline builds an image and then authenticates with AWS in a few different ways. There are no secrets in this pipeline. Just nothing up my sleeve. Refresh, right? Like, you know, same repo, secrets, nothing there, right? So. What we've done is we've used, we're using ping as an intermediary for a token exchange between GitLab and AWS. So we have a token, or GitLab issues a token to ping. Ping says, that's a good token, this is good. Put some information about who we are and what we're supposed to be doing into the, t returns that token back to GitHub, sorry, GitLab, and then sends that to AWS and we authenticate. I should have two pipelines because I 
ran one on main and just pours, pushed a, uh, a branch. But real quick, one of the coolest things about this is we, all of our policies are done through IAM and enforcement is done through IAM. That means that we can use Terraform or you know your code platform of choice to configure these policies. You can keep them in code, you can keep them uh, revisioned or version controlled, uh, and you can audit them. It makes it really easy to audit them. This particular, this particular policy says, I am allowed to interact with an ECR instance as long as my repo, or a specific ECR instance that matches my repo name. And, but only if I'm on main, right? Like this is a super common pattern. I wanna be able to, I wanna be allowed to push to an ECR instance or some container registry. And I need to publish my artifact from a particular repo to a specific artifact registry, right? But like I don't wanna shove random stuff from the pipelines. I only want it to happen if main passes, right? Like, that seems reasonable. Let's check our pipelines. Pipelines take a little while. Questions so far? Oh, well I've got some time. Coolest thing about this, all of these events, because they come directly from AWS, are logged in CloudTrail. So I can see auditability around what pipeline called what resource and assumed role for what resource all through CloudTrail's auditability. All right, just let's see if these works yet. I should have two pipelines, one failed, right, because I wasn't on main, I just pushed a branch. And then one passes because I am on main. Ah, uh, main passes. And if demo, demo passes, we're gonna be in trouble. But that's what I've got. Thank you very much for your time. Question. Question? I have another implementation that uses HashiCorp Vault as an intermediary as well. Uh, you can definitely use HashiCorp Vault to handle that token exchange as well. Yeah, we chose a couple of these tools because they're common to a, a few, of, you know, a few of the enterprise customers we're working with. Um, we've got, you know, uh, implementations, uh, GitHub and uh, HashiCorp Vault, other, you know, you name it. It's a uh, IDP of choice. Yeah, we've we've got a lot of implementations of this, mainly because, like, my stance at this point is, you know, this is bad and you should feel bad for putting secrets and creating long-lived environments or long-lived service accounts and secrets and sticking them in your repos. So like, the reason I'm here is to tell people there's a better way to do this because once you know, then you, uh, you might not do it. Those are IAM policies in in AWS. I honestly, I love to talk about this. It's something I'm super passionate about, I, but I think I'm out of time. So uh, please. Feel free to come and ask me questions. I'll be in our sponsor room. It's right around yeah, the corner. This is just a, a teaser. We'd like to get more technical and deep deep dive into this stuff. So please uh, join us down the hall today. Thanks for the time. Thanks.